This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Uh, we're at Pat Barrett's gym here in Manchester. With me is 3-0 prospect Tom Rafferty, uh, looking to go 4-0 on March 26th. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, camp's been brilliant. Um, keeping discipline, we've had a bit, I've had a bit longer because it's January. And I'm in the early start of my career, you know. Um, just going to keep improving. What have you been uh, pleased so far with uh, in your first three fights? Um, it's been nice to get back in the ring. I took a little bit, a bit of a break from boxing um, for about four years. So it's just been nice to get back in there, get back learning, you know, all the time. I'm in the gym, working hard. I've got my coach, Sean Cruel, um, who looks after all his fighters, top coach. So I'm constantly improving. I want to keep active this year. Can't fault Black Flash and Pat Barrett for getting me on the shows. Um, and it's going to be exciting. You're going to see the best Tom Rafferty come tw uh, March 26. Sean, can you add anything to that? Uh, first three fights, what have you been pleased with? What have you not been pleased with? Uh, Uma, it's, it's a learning phase for Tom, isn't it? So uh, He's been away from the ring for four years. Mm. So, yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a, a few little mistakes which is going to be done by all new pros, you know what I mean? And especially someone that's been away from the ring for a long time. So, I'd be very happy with Number one is mindset because you know you can have the best boxing ability but if you don't have the correct mindset then you're going to have a problem. So Tom has been really good in, in that way and uh, it's first laying the foundation and the foundation now I feel has been put in place. His mindset is right, he, he's very professional how he conducts himself inside and outside the ring and he's uh, an example to all the other boxers in the gym and he's basically one of the the front the front runners now you know one of the leaders in the gym because the other lads are looking up to him so he's doing a good job of of doing that and now his boxing's coming on loads now and he's part of very really top lads well if he's one of the front runners how quickly can he move i don't want to move him too quickly he's 24 years old now give him another year and then we can start maybe it's another few months then we can start having a look at uh, at an area title and then English title then you know once you get to the English title then there's no stopping you have just got to go because you then become mandatory for British mm. and then it, the doors are open then but let's say another five fights another four fights then we can start looking at an area title we don't want him doing going too fast but you also don't want him going too slow because he's 24 you're looking at another year 25 he's there's a few little mistakes come in between where we might have a little something that's a little hurdle that we need to get over and we've got to leave space for that too. You don't want to be making mistakes when you're 28 years old and 27 years old. You want to make those mistakes now so that when we reach 28, 27, then we're on a, we're on a road, you know, to success. Sounds like you've got a smart man in your corner. <laughs> Very smart, yeah. I mean, me and Sean work really well together, you know. We gel together and, you know, that, that's what makes it. When, you, when you're a happy fighter and you're happy with your coach, you put all your trust in with your coach in the gym, you know, and I like the way he runs stuff. So, you know, it's going to be a good career and I'm, I'm excited for the journey. What can we expect March 26th then? You can expect um, a lot more of a polished fighter. Um and a lot of the things I'm working on in the gym, you know, I'm, I'm just working on doing the right things. In, I mean, some people can go in, you can go hell for leather and try and bomb these journeymen out, but what, what are you actually learning? Do you know what I mean? Because when you do step up, you're going to become unstuck. So the little things like, you know, you can't be letting things slip, like hands down, this, that, you know, like, and just taking it for granted. But I've got here in Thomas, and you're going to see fireworks, and... I expect a good performance on my basics. Sounds like just do the basics right and then uh, the rest will sort itself out. Yeah, definitely, 100%. You know, these journeymen, they are they in there every week, every month, and as though we, everybody thinks they can just go out there and try and knock them out. No, but you've got to learn from them because their experience is so, is so advanced in the game. Although they might not be top prospects, but they are so used to that environment, that ring, where the pro prospects are every two months, every three months they're fighting. So you can learn from them and that's all we have to do, just to learn. The time is coming for you to perform on the top level, but now it's all about learning. Okay, well Tom, uh, best of luck March 26th. We will follow the journey, definitely. And Sean, uh, good Thank luck you. with your man, alright? Okay. Thank you.